Hi fellow dreamers, have you had a dream recently with somebody from your past and you're probably wondering what am I supposed to do with this information? Are they going to come back into my life? So let's explore this together because there are so many answers for this. Thanks for joining, my name is Carolina. As you know, I focus on doing children's books that promote love, unity, and peace. And I also help my followers interpret their dreams. And we do this of course because when we listen to our dreams, we're connecting to our subconscious and when we share them, we connect with one another on a more profound level. So let's get started with the topic of today. Many of you are saying that you're having dreams from people that you haven't even talk to in years you're wondering if they're going to come back into your life or what we can do with this information so there's so much to cover here but let's go over the first thing normally whenever you have this kind of dream it's giving you a loving alert it's saying look if everything keeps on going the way it is it is so likely that this person is going to come back into your life now this doesn't mean that you have to initiate it and reach out to them dreams it can just be a loving alert saying hey this person's coming back into your life now the important thing is it's kind of drizzling so i have an umbrella above me but okay the reason that this is coming to you right now is because the dream is preparing you to be more aware when this interaction does happen in waking state. Oftentimes when we see people in waking state that we haven't seen in a long time, it takes us by surprise, right? And sometimes we don't even notice the things that we're saying. We're not very conscious in the moment because we're so surprised to see them. So dream state is saying, look, it's likely that you're going to see them. This allows you as the dreamer to be more conscious and aware so that whenever you do interact with them, you're not completely surprised. You're able to be more in the present and maybe you can ask more meaningful questions or see how they're doing at a deeper level so take this as a loving alert and just be prepared to interact with that person soon now one of the other things that we can do with this is take it a step back all right when we take a step back what i mean by this is we've got to start learning from this experience all right so number two this is so important you want to ask yourself what did i learn with that interaction from that person what was I like, what were they like, etc. Bottom line, what did you learn from that interaction? It's so important that you as the dreamer take back what you learned because it is literally coming up in dream state and it's saying, look, it's likely that they're gonna come back into your life. But now what did you learn? Because if we didn't learn anything, we're likely to commit the same mistakes, we're likely to say those same things that maybe got us into trouble at one point or another. So it's very important that you take a moment and that you reflect on this relationship. What did I learn from this friendship? What did I learn from this relationship? Because I'm going to need to apply those things that I learned very soon, all right? So again, this is a super loving alert from Dream State. And this is what's so wonderful about it is that it is here to literally guide us and prepare us for things that are going to come to us in waking state. So just take it as that, reflect on what you learned. And remember when we're talking about what you learned, this is about yourself, okay, self-reflection. What could I have done differently back then? How could I have said things differently? Maybe um, how could I have done a particular thing in the relationship differently? Whatever it may be for you, but take a moment to just reflect on it. And when you do the self-reflection, also invite yourself to reflect on that person a bit. What did you admire about them? What really bothered you about them, etc. right? We want to explore this whenever we're talking about learning from this because we wanna learn from the self, but we also wanna learn from them. What did we really like that they did, all right? It's important to look at this in a holistic way. Let's look at all of the areas that we can with this situation and with this person because that way we will be even more prepared whenever this happens in waking state. So now that we've done this, let's go to number three. Okay, when this comes up in dreams, it can also be an opportunity to forgive and let go. Now, oftentimes whenever we interact with people, you know, sometimes we have tough situations, we have tough relationships. So if the person you're dreaming about was one of those, if you remember some memories that were really tough or really painful for you and you're still dreaming about them, it is very likely that dream state is bringing this up and it's saying, look, it's time to forgive and let go. We're still holding on to a lot of pain. We're, we still haven't essentially forgiven ourselves or and we haven't forgiven them, right? We know this because it's coming up in dream state, especially if your feelings are like that. If you, during the dream you're feeling uh, bad, guilty, sad, etc. Anything under the umbrella of fear, okay? If you're feeling anything like that, the dream is inviting you to forgive and let go. And remember, this is wonderful, right? Because dream state is here to help us. So take that, forgive, let go, practice it. It may be a little bit difficult at first, a little bit challenging, but know that you can do it and know that dream state and your inner self wants you to forgive and let go. Why? Because if it's showing you the dream and it's coming up in a sad, painful kind of way, it's saying this is all we have to offer with this. We're carrying this around, okay? That is heavy. So practice forgiving and letting go. I have a whole video on this, so you may find that helpful. Now, whenever we're talking about all of these things, it's also remember to, to just take this as a big picture, okay? Big picture, big picture item out of all of this is that this dream is here to prepare you and it's saying, look, bottom line, 
learn from this okay learn from this what did you learn etc what could you have done better etc because it is likely that you're going to confront yourself with either that person but stay with me now it could also be somebody that reminds you of that person or a similar situation all right now remember because dream state offers us so much past present future and various dimensions above and below it's likely that this dream is coming to you because something is about to happen one or number two you are already interacting with someone that really reminds you of that person you're probably in a situation very similar to the one back then that's why this dream is even more important and it's saying loving alert what did we learn time to apply those things now so you see these dreams can have so many different meanings we can look at it from so many different angles that's why it's so important that you as the dreamer understand your dream language that's why we really promote that because you as the dreamer are the only one who knows your true dream meaning I simply provide guidance to you all right that is my specialty I guide you through the art of dream interpretation but you are the one that holds the key for yourself and that is completely powerful all right so you keep that that is what you have I have what I have let's keep our power right but united remember we're even stronger so that's why I really enjoy guiding you all with our dreams now Remember, last but not least, is that whenever you're having any kind of dream, your feelings are going to guide you. I usually say this at the beginning, but I say this so much, I feel like you already should know this by now. But I'm going to uh, mention it at the end for those of you that are new here. Remember, in any single dream that you have, your feelings, uh oh, it's drizzling, so the umbrella is out. Please ignore the umbrella that may fall on me, okay? <laughs> um, but it's so important that we listen to our feelings during the dream. The feelings literally guide the interpretation. So pay attention to the feelings that you have within the dream. And then when you wake up, then you can start exploring the dream and see what it means profoundly to you. All right, put your questions down below. I know that many of you have had similar dreams, but yours are even more specific. So if you have a particular dream, put it down below and we'll add it to our list. As you know, we have two assistants right now. Uh, we've got Mickey and we've got Kayla. So if they respond to you down below, they're just helping me out and they're making sure that your questions get on our list, all right? So make sure you give them a hello. But you know, as always, I'm going to see you on Wednesday on TikTok Live at 6 p.m. Eastern. And of course, you can access all of our information on www.lupitainspires.com. But guys, I send you a huge hug. I send you love, unity, and peace, and we will be in contact. Bye, everybody. Bye.